So my name is Kala and I'm the coach for Tempo Storm's Heroes of the Storm team. Right now we are in London, England at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere and we're conducting our boot camp. We've boot camped at a lot of different land centers, but this one seems better than most because it, it feels comfortable for an esports team. You know, it's open to the public, but it also has that level of privacy and that level of professionalism that you'd expect when you come to a facility like this and uh, you want to boot camp. Seems like there's pretty much everything you could want as a gamer in this facility. There's Red Bull, of course, all types of computers, all types of different gaming setups. So it's not just for regular gamers, but like it, it's fully equipped for basically everything you could ever want. Red Bull has been super accommodating with this facility. They've even uh, extended the hours for us. So we've just had a huge period of time to be able to practice and we couldn't be more thankful. Having a facility like this one, it, it's so important to us when we're boot camping because it allows us to have that level of intimacy. You know, when, when a mistake happens, we can look to our left or look to our right and see our teammates in the flesh. When the game's over and we suffer a loss, we can discuss it as people in person and that's so important. It's been really good so far. We have our, our own area to practice. It's not noisy. We have, yeah, we don't have to worry about anyone like, seeing any strats and we've a lot of time to play and it's yeah, it's been really good so far. I think being together like this is really important for big tournaments just because you get everyone more on the same page, you know everyone's focused, everyone's together, and yeah, not have June randomly take a five minute nap during draft, things like that, and yeah, just everyone's just there. No other way to say it other than that. it's just more, more focused and more playing as one unit rather than just mm -hmm. everyone playing together but kind of still sometimes doing their own thing. It's basically what every single team strives for, having an environment where everybody is there and present and it really helps us build team synergy and, and bond as a team because it allows us to get acclimated to the European environment beforehand and that's all a tournament really is, is being able to jump into the tournament, find out what the Korean meta is, find out what the European meta is and adapt to it and beat it. That's one of the biggest things about competing in a tournament so being able to do this really helps us just get that competitive edge. I think it's like a really good kind of middle ground where you have you have a few days of adjustment which is just really nice I know in the past we've had tournaments where just having the instant like fly in and then you're just in it immediately it just it just makes the transition a lot harder and this is just like a much smoother kind of slower transition to it and then by the time the tournament comes around everyone's just like right where we need to be I think everyone just sitting right next to each other physically also helps a lot because it kind of simulates the tournament environment so in that regards too it's very similar to what we're actually going to be doing in about a week so uh, yeah good practice for that as well. My team tries not to deviate too far from our regular schedules at home. You know, everybody is on an exercise schedule, everyone is on a fairly regimented sleep schedule, so we make sure that we keep up those schedules while boot camping overseas because it helps us keep up our energy, keep up our focus and our uh, motivation in scrims. I think it kind of varies person to person, just the big thing is to sleep well, everyone be in a good mental state. I mean, <laughs> yeah, for me it's... I, I drink a lot of caffeine, you know, a lot of Red Bull. I, I go through like two, three cans a day when I'm at a boot camp, um, at least, just to keep myself really focused throughout the entire day. A long time ago, maybe 10 years ago, I actually sent an email to Red Bull about wanting to get sponsored just because I love their drink. You know, I wasn't even playing esports back then. So to me, it's awesome that this is happening now. He's not even. He's not even <laughs> kidding. Though. Our hearts are in five. Just play for top right now. They're gonna do. Box Scrims have been going well. We've been yeah, getting good practice. We've been doing well in most games. We have a, a couple little uh, throws here or there, but we're we're figuring out how to iron those kinks out. Being in this this kind of uh, area close together does give us the ability to to work out these problems, and it just makes it a lot easier. Well, yep. still, we get the 5v4 and it's an honest 5 The biggest thing that we hope to achieve this week is, is basically just trying out our style of drafting and our strategies against the European teams and then kind of tweaking them for the tournament. You can kind of get a little bit stagnant playing against the same teams over and over in North America. And I noticed that the first game we stepped into, it was just, it was so much different because the atmosphere is, it's more intense and everybody understands that. And I think we've been playing fantastic. Bye. Our time here at the Red Bull Gaming Sphere has been absolutely fantastic. I couldn't think of a better facility to come overseas to and boot camp. Red Bull has set the standard for us. Myself and the team are extremely grateful to uh, be boot camping at a place like this. It feels very much at home and uh, we wouldn't want it any other way.